So this Reddit user thought they'd been scammed. So they just picked up a new 144 Hertz gaming monitor. And when they plugged it into their computer, it only showed 143.98 Hertz. So where was their missing 0.02 Hertz and had they been scammed? In the comments section, they joke about it being tax related, but the real answer is more complicated than that. We're gonna have to go back to 1953 to the introduction of color television, back when TV was sent over analog radio waves. So prior to color, black and white TV showed a 30 frame per second interlaced image, and it used the 60 Hertz DC power in North America to time the 60 Hertz refresh rate of the TV screen. And they had a 4.5 megahertz window to cram the black and white image and sound information into, and this worked quite well. Now for the introduction of color TVs in the 1950s, so they now had to cram in black and white information, color information and sound information in the same 4.5 megahertz window. Unfortunately, doing all this created some weird image artifacts. Unless they used a complicated technique called line by line phase reversal, got no idea how it works. All I do know is that it required the 4.5 megahertz when divided by the horizontal frequency to equal a whole number. The horizontal frequency is the frame rate times the vertical resolution. This equaled 15,750. And if we divide this 4.5 megahertz by this horizontal frequency, unfortunately, it does not create a whole number. So the technicians had to do some thinking. They discovered if they reduced the frame rate to 29.97, this would create a horizontal frequency that could then go on to produce an integer. This integer was 286 and it allowed color televisions to work properly. And by the way, this was only in North America following the NTSC standard. In Europe, they followed a standard called PAL, which was at 25 frames per second. They probably thought that using 29.97 FPS was just weird. Now going back to the original Reddit post, if you times 29.97 by 4.8, you get a number different to the frequency on the Reddit post. Hmm, this is all a bit confusing. Let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas. And if you have found this interesting, hit that like button and consider subscribing. And check out Stand Up Maths for a better explanation.